Hi friends, so this is the last part of where uh, I am just trying to show how you can use the BCP command uh, to execute via your T-SQL. I mean in some stored procedures or, or, or somewhere in, in your T-SQL batches, how can you use that BCP command to be executed via your SSMS query analyzer or uh, in your uh, batch processing? Uh, in your stored procedures or some something so so basically uh, there is a command in xp underscore command a cmd shell which uh, which allows you to uh, execute any command line uh, commands in the form of tsql so so this is the way uh, you can uh, execute your uh, commands so, so basically if you see there is nothing in this table as of now and uh, we uh, we have, I have written the bcp command which is as similar as as, as the command line uh, command prompt uh, it, it's similar uh, as you would type in a command prompt and just use your xp underscore command shell from the master database and and execute it uh, with this with this it'll uh, your query analyzer will act as as the command line uh, uh, a, pro a processor and it will process the bcp command similar to a similar uh, in a similar fashion as your com uh, command line command line would so if you run this you would see uh, the rows have been and, and the second uh, variable that I have I'm trying to capture is the error error uh, message it, it's it's uh, it's just a value uh, for any success uh, it will show a value of zero or uh, and and otherwise it will show a non non zero value uh, if there is some issue so basically we are just trying to capture I mean uh, just trying to error handle this with this help of uh, with the help of this error uh, variable uh, and quickly there is one more thing that I would like to show you is, is uh, this XP underscore command shell is not always enabled on all these servers that you're working on so um, how can you check that you would uh, just try, uh, you would need to try uh, SP, SP underscore configure uh, this will give you all the options available you can see XP underscore command shell as well so if it is disabled here you can see the config value set to 1 which means it is enabled but if it is disabled what you could do is and say a value of one so it, this will enable the option but it will not be enabled un, until uh, unless you reconfigure it so so reconfigure it and, and you are done so this is one way how you can enable your xp underscore command shell uh, one more uh, option available is go to the fake facts it's option and then say server configurations and in the server configurations in the bottom of it you will find xp command shell enabled to true uh, it uh, here you can directly do it with the help of ui so this is uh, another way of enabling your xp underscore command shell uh, and uh, executing your bcp as you would in in in, uh, in the form of a tsql uh, say in a stored procedure you want you want that bcp to be taking place uh, so this is the way you would do it I just wanted to share it so that uh, it's not always the command line or the command prompt that you want to uh, that you would uh, want to execute your uh, BCP from so um, so this is it uh, friends and this was the last thing I think I had missed it out on my last uh, uh, video on BCP so uh, here it is thank you so much